Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today I've got another Fusion 360 tutorial for you. So today I figured I would show you a couple of tools that can really help when creating your models. Those tools being the Shell tool, the Draft tool, and the Mirror tool. So let's get right in and start messing with those. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cylinder. And I'm just going to create it on the bottom plane here. Right in the middle, doesn't matter how big, and just pull it up a bit. So what if I wanted to um, put a little like rooftop type shape on top of this? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is split this. So I'm going to go, um, you can split the whole body if you want to. I'm just going to split the face. So you'll have to select the face here and then click on splitting tool. And I'm just going to split it along this plane. Hit OK. And now this face is split. So now we can use the draft tool to angle those and that's basically all this tool is um, it's taking edges and angling them based on a plane that you select now keep in mind with this tool you do have to select the plane first um, that can that threw me off for a bit so select that plane and then it wants to select the face now if you are here and it is trying to make you select the whole thing and won't let you select individual faces here um, unselect tangent chain and you will be able to actually select which one you want so I'll select that one and then I'm gonna angle that down let's go 25 I'll hit OK and then I can come back up and do that to the other side I'll select this plane again and then go 25 okay and now we have that roof okay so now let's talk about the mirror tool um, first of all I'm gonna create a fun shape to uh, mess with okay so I just created this weird little pac-man looking shape and then I'm gonna revolve it and for the axis I'm actually just gonna select the center axis here so you can see that creates a really cool shape but what if I wanted some breaks in this? Um, so instead of going 360 degrees, let's go 160. Okay, so there's a break in that, and I'll hit OK. And now to make this a little bit easier to actually mirror correctly, I'm just going to rotate it. So I'll select it and move. Then I'm going to change the axis, and I'm going to put it right on the center down here, because that's the point I want to rotate around. So then I'll hit this little check mark. Then I'll rotate. That looks just about perfect. So I'll hit OK. Now to actually mirror it, I'll come up to Create, come down to Mirror, and then make sure that you have um, Pattern Bodies selected here, because it defaults to Pattern Faces. Um, but I want this whole body, so I'll click that Mirror Plane, and I'll just mirror over this plane. And you can see it gives me an outline of what it's going to do there, so I'll hit OK. And there we have our desired outcome. So that mirror tool is very handy. Um, the last tool I wanted to show you today was the shell tool. So I'm gonna come up to modify, click shell, and then click on this face of the cylinder right here. And then I want a two millimeter wall, so I'm just gonna type two, and you can see it shells it out. I'll hit enter to finalize that. And it's now hollow on the inside, and this wall is two millimeters. And I can select this top thing to confirm that there is a shell on the top as well. You can use the shell tool for a wide variety of geometry. Um, and obviously the more complex the geometry, the harder it's going to be for the algorithms of this program to um, create the shell. So let's try to do it on this. And I don't really know what's gonna happen. Let's try a two millimeter. And that gave me an error. So looks like some of the geometry in there was not able to do that. Let's just try one. Oh, it looks like it likes one. So I will hit OK. OK, so now that you see that this side still has um, a solid face, and it is hollow all the way through up to that face, but that's actually the way that the um, shell tool is intended to be used. Because like, take this cylinder, for example, it didn't go all the way through. Um, we just told it to shell this side so it goes up and treats this as the roof of it. It's doing the same thing here. So if we wanted to um, actually get that to shell as well, we can come back to the shell operation that we just did. Um, I'm going to type zero to nullify that and then I can actually shift select that face and hit one. 
And there we go. The whole thing is um, hollow right now. All right, guys. Well, that's all for this video. Um, I hope you found this useful. These tools are some tools that I've used quite a bit um, in my modeling attempts in this program. So the more you model, um, I guarantee you'll find a use case for some of these. All right, guys. Well, if you found this video useful, make sure you like and subscribe. And let me know what you thought down in the comments. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.